Hey everybody, Coach Jason here. I wanted to post a video today, that, um, and there are some other videos out there about how to lay out training for the week and, and weekly volume and so on and so forth. I want to give you my view on it uh, and a couple of different options for most levels, and I'm going to take you from 20 miles all the way up to 100 miles, and then I'm actually going to take you through a whole 14-day cycle, um, which includes an off day and a week without an off day, uh, so that you can kind of figure out how to lay out training any way you like. So, let's start at 20 miles a week. This generally, you know, if you happen to be a running coach who has some beginning runners who want to start building up towards a, uh, running a 5K, this is a great option. If you happen to be a high school coach and you know you have some incoming freshmen who, are, who want to run but haven't run, this is a great way to kind of get them building up slowly over the summertime. Um, and not necessarily starting there, they can build towards it. And if they happen to get there halfway through the summer, then they can maybe build towards 30 miles a week. I generally cap freshman at 30 miles a week for high school, but again, that's completely up to you. Um, so anyway, let's let's break it down here. For 20 miles a week, um, I have it out for five days of running, okay, which is an average of four miles a day, and I will give you the daily average for every level as well. Monday, four miles. Tuesday, four miles. Wednesday's an off day. Uh, Thursday, four miles. Friday, three miles. Saturday, long run of five miles which is essentially about 25% of the total volume. Since it's such a low volume, you know, 25% is okay. And then Sunday and off day. So you'd establish a pattern of consistency here. You run two days and then an off day, and then three days and then an off day. And then you can repeat the cycle, and it gives you an off day every couple of days, which I encourage you to do at that level. Um, so let's go to 30 miles a week. So it's also still five days uh, running, which is an average of six miles per day. Um, and if you happen to do six days, it's an average of five miles a day. I'm going to give you both options. So let's go to the first week with the two off days. Monday, six miles. Tuesday, six miles. Wednesday, you're off. Thursday, six miles. Friday, cut it back to four miles. Saturday, eight miles for the long run. Sunday, you're off. And again, if you happen to be a freshman in high school, you might start incorporating some workouts in here and so on and so forth. And what I generally encourage people to do um, it's generally have to two somewhat hard efforts per week, whether it be two workouts or one workout in a race, depending on what you're doing. And then as you start training for longer stuff, sometimes with a, with a marathon, the long run becomes a workout. So things change up a little bit. But I like a Tuesday to Friday workout schedule um, on a non-race week if you happen to be a high school coach um, or even a college coach with a very low volume program. Um, you know, you can see your athletes working out hard twice per week, even if you happen to hold practice on Saturday. Um, if they're not racing, you know, it's, it might be better off for them to just go do a long run because um, it gives you a chance to see two workouts and a long run. If they happen to going to skip a day, I'd rather them skip a short day than a long day or a workout day. So um, on a race week, I generally like to have a Tuesday workout and a Saturday race. Uh, sometimes they race Friday, um, so then you mix things up a little bit. So... Let's go to the next week, uh, the next level, 30 miles, which is a six-day week. Monday, you have four miles. Tuesday, six miles. Wednesday, five miles. Thursday, five miles. Friday, three miles. Saturday, seven miles. And Sunday, off. I like to go easy on Friday if it's the day before a long workout, a uh, long run, or a race. Uh, I don't like giving off days the day before a workout or a race because... Since it throw the it can throw the legs off rhythm a little bit. So if you're going to give a workout, I mean a, an off day, I would I would prefer to give it or I would encourage you to give it two days off, uh, two days prior to a race or a hard workout. Um, so let's go to 40 miles now. You also have two options. Your first option is five days of running, which is eight miles per day average. Six miles of running, I mean six days of running, which is 6.67, just under seven miles per day. So Monday you have eight miles, Tuesday nine miles, Wednesday off. Thursday, 7 miles, Friday, 6 miles, Saturday, 10 miles, Sunday off. You're generally not going to have five days of running per week on, uh, on, uh, on most college programs, or I don't know any college program, um, and most high school programs won't have that either. But if you happen to be a running coach and you have somebody who's training for half marathon and something like that or wants to slowly build up for a marathon, this is, this is a nice option. Okay, so let's go to six days now. Monday, 6 miles, Tuesday, 7 miles, Wednesday, 8 miles, Thursday, 6 miles, 
Friday four miles, Saturday nine miles, and then the Sunday off day. And again, I encourage, you know, um, a Tuesday, Friday workout, but again, people have jobs, people have, you know, different things going on in their lives, so if you need to make adjustments, that's totally fine as well. I just encourage you to have a couple of days in between, um, either a workout in the race or a workout in the workout, okay? So let's go to 50 miles now, okay? It's two options as well. Six days, you're running. Um, six days is an average of a little under 10 miles per day, okay? Uh, that's one, so it's, it's a, little, a little over 8 miles per day. Seven days, you're averaging 7.14 miles per day. Okay. My apologies on that. It's a little over 8 miles per day. Uh, so Monday, 7 miles. Tuesday, 8 miles. Wednesday, 9 miles. Thursday, 8 miles. Friday, we drop down to 7. Saturday, we go up to 11 for the long run. Sunday, you're off. Okay. And... On the six day week, on a seven day week actually, and this is generally when I first start a seven day uh, seven day week uh, at fifty miles. I wouldn't go under fifty miles, um, but it's completely up to you. And again, you can alternate it as well uh, with a six day week and a seven day week, and um, depending on who you're training. So on a seven day week, let's go seven month uh, seven miles on Monday, eight miles on Tuesday, seven on Wednesday, eight on Thursday. Drop down to 6 on Friday, long run of 10 on Saturday, and Sunday 4 miles. And before I forget, let's change this right now, just so if you go back to it, it's right, okay? Go to 8 point. About 8.3 miles per day. 8.3. So, I'm going to take this off, and we're going to get to the next board. Okay, now we've got 60, 70, and 80. Now, 60, you have three options, okay? You have one option of six days per week, and then you have two options of seven days per week, one of which does not have double runs, the second of which does have double runs. And this is when I um, would first start to incorporate double runs if you need to. Uh, it's a great way of adding a little bit of volume and uh, with easy running to a program. Um, it's also a great way of uh, helping with recovery as well. So. Let's go to the six day week first, which is a 10 mile a day average. Your seven day week is about eight, eight and a half mile or 8.57 miles per, hour, per day average. Monday you have nine miles, Tuesday 10, Wednesday 11, Thursday nine, Friday eight, Saturday 13, Sunday you're off, okay? Now let's go to the seven day week without doubles. Eight miles on Monday, nine on Tuesday, 11 on Wednesday, 9 on Thursday, drop down for 7 on Friday, 12 long on Saturday, and an easy 4 on Sunday. 7 days with doubles, and it would be 2 doubles. Monday 6, and Tuesday you have a double of 3 miles in the morning, 8 miles in the afternoon. Um, Wednesday at 11, Thursday the same double, 3 miles in the morning or 8 miles in the afternoon. Um, if you need to switch it to an 8.3, that's fine as well, or 4.7, whatever works best for you and your athletes. Friday, 4. Saturday, long run of 12. And then the easy 5 on Sunday. So those are your three options. Um, let's go to 70 miles per week now, okay? So six days, you're averaging about 11.6 miles per day, and seven days, it's a nice flat number of 10 miles per day. So, in the six-day week, you have 10 on Monday, your double of 4 and 8 on Tuesday, 12 Wednesday, another double of 4 and 8 on Thursday, easy on Friday for uh, 9, and Saturday 15, and Sunday off. Now, keep in mind, if you happen to plug in a race in a 70-mile week, you can drop down Friday a little bit. Um, you can move things around. Um, can have a Tuesday workout or a Wednesday workout depending on when the race is. If you need to move it to Monday, you can move it to Monday. So, um, so any way you like to do it, you have the flexibility to do it. This gives you options. So let's go to a seven-day week. Ten on Monday, three and eight on Tuesday, twelve on Wednesday, three and eight on Thursday, seven on Friday, fifteen on Saturday, four on Sunday. 
and I will make a comment about racing if you happen to be in high school and you're running 5k um, depending on how often you race um, is how you kind of lay out your schedules so if you're racing every other week you know it's going to give you about probably five or six races throughout the season then you know you can have two workouts in the alternate week if you're racing every week and some programs do that you know um, remember you're you there's a chance that you might be taken away from some of the training for more racing. In some cases, you'll be racing yourself into shape um, if kids don't run over the summer. You know, so there's a lot of different ways. And if you're running you know, in college, sometimes you race only three times a season, which is every four weeks, or you know, four times a season, which is every three weeks, and so on and so forth. So it really depends on what you're training for and how you lay out the programs. But if you plug in the races, you can build the training around the races. Okay, So let's go to 80 now. 11.42 uh, miles per day on average. Now, this is generally where I get rid of the off day if you're, if you're consistent. But that being said, I'd still encourage to, uh, an off day, a full off day every few weeks depending on what you're doing. Whether it's every two weeks or every three weeks or every four weeks, you plug that in um, and you know it allows for a sufficient recovery or proper recovery at least on the one day it's very important it's just as important to have an off day than it is to do a workout long run pressure on whatever you're doing it's an important part of your training okay so 10 miles Monday 4-8 on Tuesday 12 Wednesday 4-8 on Thursday 10 on Friday 16 on Saturday 8 on Sunday so now, obviously, as the numbers get bigger, the volume gets higher, and the days get a little bit more meaty. So let's take this down now and put the last one up. You know, 80, 90, 100, I mean, that's some of your top college programs, your post-collegiate, some of your professionals. Um, some of them run a lot more than that as well. But uh, this gives you a nice template uh, that you can utilize and modify to your liking. So 90 miles per week, 12.8 miles per day average. Monday at 11, Tuesday, now it's 5, 10 double. Wednesday, 15. Uh, and that could be, you know, whether it be an intermediate run, a slow 15-mile run, or a workout with a, you know, a three-mile warm-up, a big block of training in the middle, and then a two-mile cool down. It could be a 10-mile tempo. It could be whatever it is that you're training for. Okay. Thursday, 5, 10. Friday, 10 miles, long run on Saturday of 18, recovery day on Sunday of 9 miles. Okay. Now let's go to 100, okay, which is 14.2 miles per day average approximately. So now you got 13 on Monday, Tuesday 510, Wednesday 15, Thursday 510, and I added another, another double on Friday here of a 5-6 because it's a 20 mile day on Sunday, that'd give a little bit of a break instead of an 11 and a 20, and then an 11 again on Sunday. So a little bit of a break here, and it gives you a little bit extra recovery for the Sunday, for the Sunday long, or race, um, depending on what you're doing. Now, I wanted to give you a 14 day training cycle just to see what it looks like, and I'm using 70 miles a week because it's a nice even number of 10 miles per day, okay? So eliminate confusion. So the first week is 70, okay, and then the next week you see here is 60 because it has an off day, okay. So you have 10 on Monday, 3, 8 on Tuesday, 12 Wednesday, 3, 8 on Thursday, 7 Friday, 15 Saturday, 4 on Sunday, just like we laid out in the program. And this is an option on the program as well for the 60. 9 miles on Monday, 10 Tuesday, Wednesday 11, Thursday you have 9, you have 8 on Friday, 13 Saturday, and then your off day on sun on Sunday. What I encourage you to, uh, what I caution you to not do, and it's completely up to you. But sometimes you, you sometimes, and I, and I know people who have felt this way, um, don't get hooked into feeling that because you have an off day, you have to make up the miles and run 70 in six days, which is going to up your average per day, um, which will defeat the purpose of the actual off day. So. The reason why I lay this out is because you can average 10 per day on 70 week and 10 per day on the 60 week and still be able to enjoy the benefits of the full off day, which is a huge important part of your training. So anyway, that's how I lay out the training programs or the, the volume for the week. It's easily modifiable. 
Um, I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to send out more content like this and that I know it's valuable. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, I also drop running content on Instagram at Black Belt Running Coach is my profile. And if you have specific questions or need any uh, specific individualized training guidance, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email. Feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy, more than happy to help out. Good luck. Hope this helps. Talk to you soon.